Today we asked St. Augustine's University what happened when students showed up to take the SAT on campus only to find out that site was closed. We asked them why it was closed, whether the school notified the college board, and what happens next for those students who need to reschedule. Here's WRL's Destiny Patterson with what she learned. Imagine this, you get a good night's rest, eat a good breakfast, and wake up early to come take your SAT exam just to find that you can't take it. The university spokesperson here tells me that it was a miscommunication. Failing in these test bubbles often signifies one of the first steps students take when they're getting ready for college. After prepping for months, several students and their families showed up to St. Augustine's University Saturday to find that the test was not happening. Nobody told, you know, security or, or anyone um, that this test was supposed to be happening. Um, so nobody was aware. Nobody knew anything about it and that we should probably just go home. Several families like them left confused. We took their concerns to both the university and the college board, the organization behind the SAT exam. The college board spokesperson said testing sites are instructed to inform the college board if they need to close. We did not receive such notification from this center and our several attempts to confirm their readiness to test were unanswered. All of this happened just one day after a group of alumni sued to remove the university's board of trustees. WREL has covered the HBCU's financial struggles over the last several months. When I asked the university why the site was closed, the spokesperson said it was a miscommunication regarding the school's availability this past weekend. And I'm just concerned that, you know, potentially that could happen on the July test also. That incident led to a flood of more parents worried about upcoming ACT tests scheduled at the university. The spokesperson says the campus is ready for them. Among the stressors that come with test taking, families are hopeful that this situation won't happen again. The university spokesperson tells me that they are all set to administer the SAT on June 15th. The college board will just need to confirm with those students. Now, when it comes to the ACT, both the ACT and the university confirm that that will go on as scheduled. Destiny Patterson, WRL News, Raleigh. And new today, St. Augustine's lawyer no longer represents the university. Nana Asante Smith told WRAL she is not serving as counsel effective today. Now, this comes just days after a group of alumni sued the university to remove the board of trustees. Smith said that she couldn't elaborate on whether she was resigned or was fired.